So now that we have a better sense of what our client has in mind, we can write the code. Better yet, let's take a look at the code our friend wrote and refute that. So here is our friend's code. Notice our friend has done the same experiment we did and our friend has clarified that on 100 the answer should be 3. Now how does our friend's code work? Well, this function numDigits calls itself recursively. Now to avoid infinite recursion, our friend has a very sensible looking base case. If the given number n is in the range minus 9 to 9, then we return 1 because an input like let's say minus 5 has only one digit and similarly an input like 8 has only one digit. So if we ever get to line 10, then we know for sure that n is not in the range minus 9 to 9. So that means it is either less than or equal to minus 10 or it is greater than or equal to plus 10. So in that case it has multiple digits and then we will go to line 10 and that is our recursive case. Our friend says if you are given a, a number that is at least two digits long, first calculate the number of digits in this expression. Why this expression? Well, perhaps it will be helpful to look through an example. Let's actually trace our friend's function on a concrete input. So what I'm explaining to you here is a way of comprehending the code. You should try and comprehend the code as much as you can in its general form. But whenever you're stuck, don't forget, you always have this trick. You can always trace it on concrete inputs. I would like you to develop the ability to mentally trace the code, but you always have Python Tutor to help if something is unclear. Eventually, you should, through these examples, be able to figure out what the code is trying to do in general. Now, on the input 234, our friend would find that that is not the base case. So we would come to the recursive case and first we would have to calculate num digits of n floor division 10. So what is 234 floor division 10? Well 234 divided by 10 is 23.4. Floor division remember rounds down towards negative infinity. So 234 floor division 10 would of course just be 23. Now, how do we calculate num digits of 23? Well, that would be a recursive call and 23 is also not the base case. So num digits of 23 would be 1 plus something. So the overall answer would be 1 plus 1 plus num digits of something. And that something would be 23 floor division 10. And 23 floor division 10, of course, is 2. And now when we make the recursive call to num digits of 2, this would be the base case because, of course, 2 is in the range minus 9 to 9. And that answer would be calculated directly by the base case. And that answer, of course, would be 1. So the overall answer would be 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. And that's how many digits we were, of course, expecting in 234. So that's our friend's code. I've shown you an input on which it works. I want you to refute it. So to help you, there is a Python tutor link where you can try this code on any number of inputs you like. And eventually I want you to go to code check and try and refute this code. This code has a very, very subtle error. When you look at it, it might look perfectly correct, but I promise you it is incorrect. You can find a fairly small input on which the code will fail. Please remember that if you try a very large number, you will get a large number of recursive calls and so Python Tutor will fail. I promise you there is a small counterexample with not too many digits. Try and see if you can find that.